been four years since Arizona voters said yes to Prop 207, making recreational marijuana legal across the state. It also paved the way for thousands of convicted criminals to go back to court and have their past marijuana convictions tossed out. The Category 2 sentence is already aggravated. And now Arizona's Supreme Court has taken the new law a step further. The court just ruled on a case involving this convicted sex trafficker, Bennett Williams. He entered a plea deal in 2017 and was sentenced to 12 years in prison, a penalty that was made more severe because of a past drug offense. For this decision. Williams' attorney, Randy McDonald, tells us the court decided that his client should not have received a harsher sentence in the first place because of the marijuana case and is now eligible to have his sentence reduced. The fundamental bases upon which the plea was made have changed. The factual bases upon which the plea was made have changed. And so that entitles him to go back to the trial court and argue for a different sentence. I suppose the gold standard is getting an expungement. Julie Gunnigal is legal director for Arizona Normal, a group devoted to helping individuals with past marijuana convictions expunge their records. She believes the latest Supreme Court ruling will open the door for other convicted inmates to step up and seek to have their criminal sentences reduced. So the message to anyone who loves someone who's currently incarcerated in Arizona is run, don't walk to your nearest attorney and figure out how this ruling could apply to them uh, because it does have extremely wide-reaching consequences. Legal experts say there's no guarantee that a judge will lessen a sentence if the case goes back to court, but now they can plead their case without the marijuana offense as part of the equation. These people are not going to be, you know, set free immediately in most cases, but uh, it could turn a sentence that is fairly harsh, an 18-year sentence to a 10-year sentence, perhaps. Um, so I think it's going to really impact people's lives in a way uh, that I think is exactly what Arizona voters intended when they passed Prop 207. Now, one of the concerns some people have is the thought of letting someone like the defendant in this case, a convicted sex trafficker, get a lighter sentence. But the court determined the sentence may have been too severe to begin with based on current Arizona law. Again, there is no guarantee someone will get a lighter sentence. It will be up to the judge. Back to you guys. All right, Jason.